Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 3.7 recurrence relations. 3.7 represents Chapter 3, Section 7 of the Pearson A Level Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, what is the definition of a recurrence relation? A. Recurrence relation is a relation of the form un plus 1 is equal f of un. The next term of the sequence denoted by un plus 1 is a function of the previous term of the sequence denoted by f of u n. Now let's have a look at the definition of an increasing sequence. A sequence is increasing if u n plus 1 is greater than u n for all natural numbers n. Let's go through the definition of a decreasing sequence. A sequence is decreasing if un plus 1 is less than un for all natural numbers n. Now we're going to look at a periodic sequence. For example, 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7 and so on. Now over here what we notice is that there's a repetition in cycles of 3. We call this a periodic sequence. Periodic sequence. And that repetition is called the order of the sequence. So in this case the order is equal 3. So ladies and gents, these are all the key facts of 3.7 recurrence relations. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Here's exam style question 1. A sequence a1, a2, a3, dot 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 is defined by a1 is equal to k, an plus 1 is equal to 4 lots of an plus 5. Part a, find a3 in terms of k. Ladies and gents, we know that a1 is equal k. We can substitute n equal 1 into here to work out a2. So we've got a2 is equal 4 lots of a1 plus 5. A1 is equal to k, we can substitute that into here. So we've got A2 is equal 4k plus 5. Now we can proceed forward and work out A3. We can substitute n equal 2 into here to work out A3. So we've got A3 is equal 4 lots of A2 plus 5. A2 is 4k plus 5, we can substitute that into here. So A3 is equal 4 lots of 4k plus 5 plus 5 outside the bracket. We can simplify this. So we've got a3 is equal 16k plus 20 plus the 5, so plus 25. That there is my a3. Let's move on to part b. Show that the sum from r equal 1 to 4 of a r is a multiple of 5. Ladies and gents, we can open up this sum. So we've got the sum from r equal 1 to 4 of a r. This is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. Now we already have a1, a2, a3, but what we don't have is a4. So I'm going to calculate a4. I can substitute n equal 3 into here to work out a4. So I've got a4 is equal 4 lots of a3 plus 5. I've calculated A3, which is 16K plus 25. I can substitute that into here. So A4 is equal 4 lots of 16K plus 25 plus 5 outside the bracket. I can expand this. So I've got A4 is equal 4 times 16K, which is 64K, plus 4 times 25, that's 100, plus 5, that's 105. Now, ladies and gents, this sum over here, 
sum from r equal 1 to 4 of a r is equal a1, which is k, plus a2, which is 4k plus 5, plus a3, which is 16k plus 25, plus a4, which is 64k plus 105. So we've got 64k plus 105. Now we can add this together. We can simplify the expression, collecting the like terms and adding the constants. So if we add this together, we get 85k plus 135. We want to show that this here is a multiple of 5. We can take out a factor of 5. So if we take out a factor of 5, inside the bracket we've got 17k plus 27. And as you can see, this is a multiple of 5, which is a multiple of 5, as required. This completes exam style question 1. Here is exam style question 2. A sequence is defined by the recurrence relation a n plus 1 is equal 1 over a n, where a1 is equal p. Part a, show that the sequence is periodic and state its order. Ladies and gents, we know that a1 is equal p, a2 is equal 1 over a1, so that's 1 over p, a3 is equal 1 over a2, so that's 1 over 1 over p. This is just p. A4 is equal 1 over A3, so that's 1 over P, dot, dot, dot. We have a repetition in cycles of 2. Hence, the sequence is periodic. And the order of the sequence is 2 because we've got repetition in 2s. So order is equal to. Let's have a look at part B. Find the sum from n equal 1 to 1000 of a n in terms of p. So ladies and gents, we're going to start by opening up the sum. So we've got the sum from n equal 1 to 1000 of a n. This is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus dot 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 plus a1 thousand. Now, let's take a step back and see what happens to a n as n changes. So a n is equal to p if your n is odd. So we've got p if n is odd. a n is equal to 1 over p when n is even. So 1 over p if n is even. So I can go back to this summation. I've got the sum from n equal 1 to 1000 of a n, which is equal to that there's p plus 1 over p plus p plus 1 over p plus dot, 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 plus. Now over here, the index is even. 1000 is an even number. So that must be 1 over p. Okay, now we're looking at 1,000 terms. Okay, so we can take 1,000 and divide it by the order of the sequence. The order is 2. So we've got 1,000 divided by 2, which is 500. So ladies and gents, this sum over here simplifies to 500 lots of p plus 1 over p inside the bracket. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part B and exam style question 2. Let's have a look at exam style question 3. A sequence of terms a1, a2, a3, dot, dot, dot is defined by a1 is equal 3, a n plus 1 is equal 8 minus a n. Part A, part 1 show that the sequence is periodic. So let's have a look at part 1. Firstly, we know that a1 is equal 3. a2 is equal 8 minus a1. So this is equal 8 minus 3, which is 5. a3 is equal 8 minus a2. This is equal 8 minus 5, which is 3. 
a4 is equal 8 minus a3. This is equal 8 minus 3, which is 5. We have repetitions in cycles of 2. Dot, dot, dot. Hence, the sequence is periodic. Let's have a look at part 2. State the order of this periodic sequence. So we've got part 2. Order equal. Since we have a repetition in cycles of 2, the order is equal to. Moving on to part B. Find the value of the sum from n equal 1 to 85 of a n. So we've got the sum from n equal 1 to 85 of a n. Ladies and gents, we can open up this sum. So we have a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus dot 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 plus a85. Now a n is equal 3 if n is odd. It is equal 5 if n is even. So this sum over here, the sum from n equal 1 to 85 of a n is equal a1 is 3 plus a2 is 5 plus a3 is 3 plus a4 is 5 plus dot 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 plus a85 now the index over here 85 is odd so if n is odd we have 3 okay now in this series we have 85 terms Ladies and gents, we can take 85 and divide it by the order of the periodic sequence. So we've got 85 divided by the order of the periodic sequence is 2. So 85 divided by 2, 42.5. Okay, so we're going to round down. So if we round down, so that we don't miss a term, we're going to round down we get 42. So this summation over here simplifies to 42 lots of 3 plus 5, but we still have that one term, that final term, which is 3. So plus 3. We can now put this into our calculator, and so if we put this into our calculator, we get 339. This here completes part B of the question and exam style question 3. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.